welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Bitch Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to show you how to do this hairstyle. I have mentioned for many weeks now that I'm going to put it up and you would not believe how much trouble I've had filming this video. Oh my god. I have filmed this video about seven or eight times now. So I've got to the point where I don't care anymore. Whether it's good, it's going up the way it is and hopefully you guys can get something from it. So without further ado, let's get into how I created this hairstyle. Okay, so as you can see, I have put my hair up in pink curls already. No particular set, it is literally just curling toward my face. Um, and I've just done like the back lower section. This section here is gonna be reasonably straight. And then I have left this front section out. I have left about the width of my finger because with finger waving, you're working with your fingers to create the waves and hold them down as you style. Anything that is outside your finger at the front or the back will not be styled and will look really messy. So you want to make sure that you don't go any deeper than a finger width. And maybe if you're new to this, starting just that little bit smaller so that you kind of have a little bit of give. You're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a finger waving comb. This is really important, guys, because you need to be able to move new your fingers over it. If it's too high or too deep and uh, the teeth are too wide, you won't be able to create the effect that you want because you'll be getting clumsy with your fingers. So make sure that you use a real finger waving comb. It is quite short and it has nice fine teeth. Then something to clip your hair down with, um, alligator clips or pink curl clips work great. I don't use bobby pins because they have um, the little ridges in them and it wrecks the shape of your wave. If you do that, you'll find that you have ridges in your hair. If you have straight bobby pins or you want to use some sort of slide or something, you can use that as well. Have a look around in your clip collection. I'm sure you've probably got something. I have put some mousse in my hair, but you can use a setting lotion, whatever you would normally use to set your hair. All right, so working with this top section here, you may need to wet your hair a little bit. I've got a little thing of water here and I am working with sunshine and wind, so I'm hoping that it doesn't dry too quickly while I'm trying to style it. The first thing you're gonna do is comb your hair up and away from your brow line in a C shape, so quite sharply and then place, see I've got like a semi C and my hair is falling forward so it creates a C shape. I'm gonna place my fingers along the comb and pull slightly backward so that I create my first wave. And then comb the hair straight down your head. Then we are going to put the comb in just slightly away from the finger and we're gonna push in and down at the same time. Yep, dragging the head down towards your face. Then ever so carefully, this is the tricky part, place a finger on this side of the comb and pinch as you pull the comb out, okay? So you're creating the ridge. The hair is going up in a wave here, you've created the ridge and then the hair is coming down this way on this side. That is the hardest part, guys. You've got to practice so that you put pressure on both these fingers and you pinch as you pull the comb out. Otherwise, you won't end up with a ridge and your waves will fall out of shape. Once you get the hang of that, it's actually a pretty easy hairdo, but it's just balancing. It's like juggling plates. So practice, practice, practice. Now I've created a half wave. We're gonna do a full wave to create a full Marcel. I'm not gonna continue down my head. I'm just gonna do a full wave for you guys so you get the idea and you can practice at home. All right, so again, combing the hair straight down your head and have to wet it a bit because it's already dry but it would mean that I'll be able to show you the hairstyle very quickly. So placing the comb about a finger width away, you don't need to comb in that C shape again because you've already created it by dragging the comb down to create this ridge. You simply need to do your next ridge. So place the comb in about a finger width away and go in and back at the same time. Then we need to shuffle our fingers across. This is the tricky part. Make sure you pinch these together so you don't lose your ridge. And then place some clips in to replace your fingers. Alright guys, so when you place your clips, make sure that they're close together because you want to make sure you're keeping the ridges nice and peaked. Otherwise, they will just become S waves. All right, so keep them close together and you'll see them sticking out between your clips. That way, so I need to rejigger that one. That way, when it dries, you should have a flat scallop and a peaked ridge. Now I'm gonna pin curl the, this section here. I'm gonna pin curl it the opposite way. So see how the hair is curving back this way? I'm gonna continue that theme by pin curling 
in here facing backwards so that I get another wave this way. And then I'm going to place a clip where this wave is coming back this way just to hold the head down and in place like so and that is it guys that is how you do a full wave so a half wave would be this first one and the ridge but because I've done a second wave and another ridge that is a full wave depending on the set and pattern that you've used you may use a half wave or a full wave particularly in 1940s looks it should specify in the pattern for you and you'll find a lot of those on the glamour days blog I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna see how it turns out fingers crossed all right, I'm back and I hope that uh, my pink curls are dry. I have a lot of shadow now, so I will try and sit this way a bit so you guys can see, but I'm doing my best with what I've got to work with, guys. I'm gonna take my pink curls out and then I will take this front section out. So I'm gonna fast forward through this bit because you guys have seen this many, many times before. Okay, so that's the back section taken out. You can see my pin curls. This is probably the best that I've done so far. I'm very pleased with the results of that for once. And now I'm gonna take out the clips at the front. Fingers crossed it went well. All right, so you can see, actually the way that I pin curl created another ridge. So there you go, that turned out well without me actually having to do the ridge. And I'm hoping you guys can see. All right, so you can see my ridges and my scallops. Ridge, scallops or waves turned out quite well. I'm gonna give it a spray. I'm actually gonna pin it down with some pink curl clips while I do that. Find the pink curl clips I can control the scalloping much better. So do it like this so I can see the shape of the scallop. Guys, my video just cut out, so you didn't get to see me finish setting my hair. But basically, I just put the hair clips in and sprayed it the way I would any other hairstyle to keep it in place and just pushed the ridges closer together so that they're not too spread out. And I did put a little concealed bobby pin in here to keep it in place. But this is basically the hairstyle that I have been sporting for the last few weeks on Instagram and in my Get Ready With Me 1930s look. It's just my hair was longer, but I pin curled it exactly the same way, all curling toward the front, and then I just pushed bunches up and pinned them in place to make it look like it was short. Or you can do it on short hair like I've done here. I will be including some more waving in my videos coming up because uh, if you look at some 1930 styles, in some of the setting patterns, it tells you to use a wave. And if you look at pictures of, say, Rita Hayworth, there's a great picture of her here. You can see she's got a wave in her hair, but the way it's placed is different. However, the technique is exactly the same. So give it a go yourselves. But if you're struggling with the technique, I will put up some 40 styles as well as my hair grows a little bit longer. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click that little notification bell so you know all my videos come out. In the meantime, come and join the Vintage Tips and Tricks Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week on Thursday at 10 o'clock. Bye.